Hey y'all, I wanted to put the exercises first so that when you come back to this video over and over, you don't have to go through a bunch of speaking and talking. You can just get right to it. I have three exercises that I want to show you and I want you all to do them on a regular basis, two to three times a day when you think about it. Now this one is going to strengthen your ankles and your calves. This was listed as the number one exercise that everybody needs to do, not just seniors. Now first, I just was on both feet and reaching up as high as I could on my toes. I was holding on to my car. You can do this in your home, hold on to your counter. But now I'm resting one of my toes on the ground and lifting up on the other foot. It's a little bit harder. Don't lift it all the way off the ground. If you can let go of your counter or your car or the picnic table, if you're out camping, if you're a nomad, you can do these exercises. You don't have to be in a house to do them. But it's very important that we all have good balance. And that goes for young people too. Now I'm gonna do it with one foot off of the ground. If you cannot do this yet, be patient. Keep doing the first two positions with both feet, then one toe on the ground, and eventually you will get to this one. This is very strengthening of your calves and your ankles. For all daily life, you're gonna to need to use the muscles that this strengthens, whether it's getting up off your chair or walking across the room, getting out of bed, all kinds of things that need to be done in your life. This exercise is number one for strengthening what will need to be strengthened. Now this one can be a little bit, I'm gonna put one foot in front of the other and I'm gonna keep my feet close. I'm not gonna stretch my feet out. Now I want you to hang on to something. I can let go, it's no big deal for me. I've got really good balance. See, I wanna show you, see, my feet are not far apart. There are a lot of crazy statistics going on with seniors, baby boomers falling. You need your muscles to protect your bones your ligaments, your tendons, your nerves. If you don't have good muscle structure, your bones are gonna be up for grabs. Now, right now what I'm doing is reaching. A lot of people fall when they're reaching. This will take some practice. I'm reaching each way, because sometimes we have to reach up for something and we lose our balance. And to tell you the truth, this is not easy. Do not do the reaching exercise unless you're really sure that you have good balance. And this is gonna really work your ankles. Reaching something on the counter. You're reaching something on a shelf in your kitchen. You're reaching for a book on your bookshelf. There we go. I just wanna show you the proper position, yes. I mean, it does work your ankles pretty well. Now this exercise is gonna be very important. If you're sitting in a chair, I'm putting my hand, do you see where my hands are? I'm pretending like there are arms on my chair. So if you have arms and you're just getting started with this, use it to lift yourself up. To sit down, lift up, and do this 10 times. Keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. Now I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna step forward because in a lot of cases, people fall when they, get, when they first stand up and then they go to walk somewhere and that's when they lose their balance. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna lift up 
here we go lift up and then step forward bring it back we're just practicing this once do 10 on each foot They're easy exercises. And I want you to do these throughout the day. I want you to do each one of these exercises 10 times each in each position. And I want you to do these once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once in the evening. It's going to take you like five minutes to do these. And that's it. Maybe 10, 10 minutes. Okay, I'll give you that. But what is that? 10, 20, that's 30 minutes a day. Now, Sharon, my good friend, she's 79. Whoops, I kind of goofed on my legs. Whoops. <laughs> um, she's 79 years old, and she reported to us that she fell the other day about three weeks ago. It scared me. She was walking in her yard. She saw something in the, on the lawn. She went to step over it, and she went down. She did not have good balance. And this is what happens as we get older when we're not practicing our balancing. I want you all to do this at least three times a day for a while. You need to get your balance. It's very important. I mean, a lot of you that are watching analytics on YouTube tells me that the bulk of you are seniors, your baby boomers. You need to keep your balance. It was really upsetting that Sharon told me that she fell because it scared me. One wrong fall can put somebody in the hospital with a broken hip. So we don't need that. We need, and there's no reason, I'm going to say it, there's no reason, and I'm not going to shame anybody, but there's no reason that you should not be in shape. There's no reason whatsoever. We're not that old, people. We're not that old. I'm going to be 70 and I don't feel old at all. And even if I was going to be turning 80, I know I'm still going to be agile because I am I keep in shape. So let's start from the beginning and let's work on getting our balance. Then we can branch out a little bit into a little bit more difficult exercises and really build up some muscle. If we're not going to build up muscle, what's going to happen is our bones are going to be exposed to damage. Because the muscle is what protects the bones and the veins and the arteries and all that. Yeah, the nerves. Look at these wild glasses. These are reading glasses. They're 175, which is my number. Those are pretty wild, aren't they? They couldn't be bigger. <laughs> I know a cartoon character. He was this little bird. And he... <laughs> Oh, I know he was with um that rooster. What was that rooster's name? And he was this little little guy and he would walk around with these big glasses. <laughs> okay. Um, but I do like them. I thought of something. Seniors today, baby boomers, we grew up totally different than the people growing up now, right? The adults during that time, like um Generation Z. Um, that's where my oldest daughter is, and I know a lot of you kids. A lot of you people have children, Generation Z, and they still got to play outside, but the millennials didn't get to play outside as much. Well, I mean, we were outside playing all the time. We were very agile. We played on um, playgrounds that had metal, <laughs> just dirt at the bottom if we fall. We were quite agile people. Well, I was thinking with all these exercises I've been showing and thinking about, of getting in shape, analytics also shows me that there's younger people more and more every day watching my YouTube channel. And they're watching these videos. They're probably watching this right now. I want to include you in these exercises because you weren't out playing as much as we were when we were growing up. You might actually have less muscle. So I think with the, the, with the generation coming up, it could be, not all, but it could be that 50 is going to end up being the new 70. Oh, yeah. You all need to be doing these exercises also. And when I go to the gym, a lot of the exercises, those three that I just showed you, 
I mean, I can get those on machines, but if you're not running to the gym, these, I want you to do these exercises and I want you young people to be doing them too. I'm going to start adding more on as the weeks go on. Even this week, I'm going to add a few more exercises. Uh, maybe even every video, I'm going to add something more on. But what I want you to do every day is go to the beginning of this exercise. I put the exercises right at the beginning so you don't have to go very far in to get them. And I want you to do these and I want you to do them three times a day. Even set your alarm for like nine o'clock in the morning, you're going to do them. One o'clock in the afternoon and six o'clock in the evening before you, re before you retire. Do these. You need to get your balance. So I just wanted to mention that. I mean, who knows what the generation's coming up because, and I'm not putting you down. Oh no, it's the way the world is. You're doing what the world has to offer. If it's so dangerous out there, you know, the stranger danger came about I mean, if you can't go out there and have a good time and without worrying about, ooh, strangers coming at you, and then we had the pandemic and things like that, that you were stuck inside, it's not your fault. So let's all, all of us generations, let's all get along and let's all do this together. Let's get ourselves agile. Let's get ourselves the proper size, our proper weight for our body, and let's start living a healthier life. I'm going to be talking about exercise, health, healthy habits, healthy mental habits, and, you know, eating and things like that. So I just wanted to mention that. It is pretty interesting. We'll see how everything comes out, but let's not wait for the results. Let's do something about it before it happens. Okay. I'm hungry for some eggs. I went to Walmart. I will mention that I am really kind of putting off and putting away uh, processed foods. Now, six eggs was $1.98 at Walmart. Okay. If I was going to go to a restaurant, and a lot of times when I go to a restaurant with Paul, I order two eggs. That's all I order. It's just a side, it's on the side menu. Two eggs, but that still comes out to like three to four dollars. Well, I've got six of them here. Even if I don't eat all these and I don't have refrigeration for these, um, it's no big loss, right? So I'm going to make a couple of eggs, maybe three. I'm really hungry for eggs. So I've got my eggs here. What else did I? I was out of lettuce. I'm into the salad thing. All the rest of this is produce. This is what I've been eating is produce. Mushrooms. Two cucumbers <laughs> and four avocados. One of these is soft, so I can eat this right away today. These aren't it. This is it. Okay. But these, these are hard. These will ripen up in the next two days. And then I got two limes. It's really nice to get just some pure vitamin C coming at me. Um, just from produce, not like taking a vitamin C pill. So I've got my veggies here. Let me put them away. I did eat my apple already this morning. I'm really kind of into health. I'm probably going to be talking a little bit about health here and there. I've got two tomatoes left. I did eat one this morning. What I did with my apple and my tomato, what I did with these was I just sliced them. This I peeled. I don't like the peeling. And um, I, I sliced it and then I dipped it in some um, Thousand Island dressing. That's all I have left right now. And I've got some ranch dressing coming on order from Amazon on the next week, I think. Sometimes it's hard to get it, but this is what I've had to eat so far. What time is it? It's it's 1130. So it's time for some more protein. Now, other than all of this that I show you, well, first, what do I have left? Yes, I do have part of an onion. This is still good. It's been cut. Get rid of that. I've got some garlic. I've got a potato that I can julienne 
and uh, yam that I can julienne and fry, but not right now. I'm just going to do the eggs. So get all of this put away. Lettuce, cucumbers, okay, get in there. Okay. Okay, this is where I hang it. This is the third row seat in my minivan. This is the handle. Just take this. I just tie it in a bow. <laughs> I'm sure there's other knots that would be just as good, but that's where this stays. Let's get going on some eggs. You know, I'm just into health right now. Spring is coming. It's going to be bathing suit um, weather <laughs> season. It's bathing suit. It's bikini season, everybody. I've got quite a few bathing suits from last year, and by golly, I want to look good in them. Why am I yelling? I don't know. <laughs> Bring it down. Um, yeah, I do feel really passionate about this health thing right now. And I just... Why am I just going to make two simple eggs and show you? I don't know. I could make this fancy omelet or, you know, right now I just don't feel like that. I want it to be simple. I want to keep it simple. For the next couple months, I'm going to keep everything really simple. And I don't really like, well, for right now, I don't like fancy foods. I don't, I just want to eat very basic. Like if I'm going to eat an apple, I just want to eat an apple. I don't want apple pie, apple. <laughs> I don't want apple salad. You know, remember those Waldorf salads? Yeah, Waldorf salads. I don't want um, apple crisp. I don't want applesauce. I want an apple. <laughs> I in and a tomato. I don't want stewed tomatoes. I don't want tomato sauce. Um, pizza sauce. <laughs> I want a tomato. That's all I want is a tomato. I want thing in its raw forms. Even with the, it's coming with the avocado. I don't want guacamole. I don't. <laughs> I just want an avocado. When I bite into my salad, I want to see a piece of avocado right there, and I want to take my fork, and there's an avo piece of an avocado. I want to taste things in their um, in their um, original form. So, okay, well let me get this going here. I have been going to the gym every morning, and I've been getting up early. Uh, with Paul gone, I've been getting up really early, going to bed early, getting up early. And I'm hitting the gym by 5 o'clock in the morning. So by 7, I worked out two hours. Now, that sounds like a lot. But every once in a while, I would sit and look at my phone or, <laughs> you know, I was texting to Paul. And so, you know, that does take a few minutes away. I probably got a good hour and a half of um, machines and treadmill and stretching. But, uh, and then I went in, I did get a shower. Yay. I got a shower. Okay. I'm going to turn this now around. Here we go. I only hope that the eggs don't break. <laughs> I, I like them over medium or over hard. That's what I like. Get some oil in there. Let's see um, where the leveling is. Yes, everything's running this way. There's nothing level in this place. Oh, no. In this minivan, wouldn't that be... Oh, wait a minute. No, it's still running. I'm 
gonna do three. Oh, that one's cracked, yeah. Okay, there we go. Two left. I do like a lot of pepper. turned out pretty good. <laughs> I'm surprised. It didn't, you know. Oh, that's good. I like them like that. I read, or I don't know where I read it from, but they said that if you get more protein, if you don't scramble them and mix them up, if you just fry them like this, even if you make this hard, that if you just keep it in its natural, I, I don't know why, that doesn't make sense, but okay, here we go. Just plain old eggs. Wow, that, I wish I could get them just like this at the restaurant. They're usually so overdone or they're runny. Look at that. Mm. I really do like eggs. This is perfect. Mm, mm. Mm. What's right here? Well, this is what I'm gonna eat. And then I'm going to later on in the afternoon make a salad. I'm excited. Not a lot going on today. But Paul is on his way here. I'm very anxious to see him again. Yeah. I have missed him. I missed you, Paul. You'll see this tomorrow. <laughs> yes. So, um, I've got net gators, everybody. Yeah. Um, on minivanlee.com. And I've got the big glasses. Now these are called lead. These are these are my style, and they're called lead. This it's got a the it's plastic. It's not metal. Thank goodness that would be really heavy. But yeah, what do you think? These are on minivanlee.com. Just look for the uh, Lee style. These are me. <laughs> And I've got exercise videos for sale that aren't expensive. Yeah, and I've got some shemogs too. You go, what's a shemog? Well, go on there and see what they are. And I've got the book, How to Live in a Minivan, the Minivan Leeway. 
and it's everything you need right there to get started in this lifestyle. Whether you're at home or if you're in your van or you're thinking about getting in your van, let's all get in shape, everybody. Let's get healthy. Let's get, let's start feeling good. We have a long ways to go. We don't have to start feeling old when we're 60 or 70. That's ridiculous, because we're not. We're still young, and we can do this. We can do this. Let's do this together. I love you guys. Until tomorrow. Bye. You guys have a good day. And go over those exercises now. Go back. Go back and do them.